What's up everybody, I'm the Nerf Modern Nerd and this is Nerf News. So starting off we have a Zeet brand Unicorn Squeeze Toy Shooter Dart Blaster. Long name, but that is what it's called on Amazon. So this thing is going to retail for $9 or $8.98 actually, but it's about $9 on Amazon US. And this is a unicorn that takes darts, and I don't know if these darts are actually compatible with Nerf Blasters. I assume they're not going to go in Nerf Blasters, but I don't know if Nerf darts are going to fit in this thing right here. But it comes with five darts, and they have the sticky head design on the front, so you can like shoot it at a wall, and it'll stick on the wall hopefully. It says it's going to shoot up to 20 feet, but I honestly think that is a gross overstatement because as with the Demolisher Missile Launcher and the Thunder Blast and stuff, it all depends on how much power you can provide in a short amount of time, so I think that most people are going to get a lot less than 20 feet out of it, but you may be able to get 20 feet or more if you're really, really strong. Oh, and I actually just saw they have a penguin that is the same thing for the same price and everything. It's just a penguin instead of a unicorn, available from the same seller on Amazon. <laughs> Next up, we have the new Worker Barbarian. So this thing right here is a new kit for the Worker Hurricane, which I'll put a photo up on screen right now. But this kit right here is going to retail for like 110 bucks, and it is going to add on a stock suppressor compatibility, a magazine feeding in from the top instead of the cylinder-fed system from the original Hurricane, and then a longer grip it looks like plus some cosmetic pieces I personally would rather have the hurricane as it is so it's smaller because this seems really really impractical to me as it's already a cramped up blaster but that's okay because it's more of a pistol style blaster but with this kit it looks like you're trying to make it a full rifle in a cramped blaster and I honestly don't like that but if you like that that's your opinion and that's fine I just personally don't like it. Next up we have more of this stuff. Yeah I'm sorry it's ultra it's going to be bad but these are ultrasonic screamers they're darts that whistle we've had these before and they were bad i personally hated them and yeah i don't know that anybody actually used them for competitive nerf and nobody uses ultra for competitive nerf anyways so these things are just double whammy bad they're ultra and they whistle so i mean honestly meh it seems like a waste of time to actually do this and whatever but it's hasbro they can do whatever they want this is gonna have 20 darts they're gonna be blue on the front instead of the usual orange which i think is the only saving grace because blue is my favorite color, if you didn't know, and so that's like the only thing about these that I like. And uh, the other thing that I like about this is that they don't have a range claim, claiming that they have 120 feet range all up on the front. So that is fantastic. I'm glad that they're not lying to us with that on the front of the box, but hopefully it's not on the back of the box either, as some of the users in the comments of this Reddit post pointed out. This is probably going to retail for $10, just like the normal Ultra Darts, but I believe the regular Screaming Whistle Darts or whatever they call them were actually more expensive, so maybe these are retail for $15. Either way, those are terribly overpriced for 20 darts. It's even worse than regular Elite darts, but yeah. Next up, we have a few more blasters from the game, which I will not say its name. This one right here is the Compact SMG, and it looks like the Compact SMG from that game, and it is obviously brightly colored because the one from the game is black everywhere, which is a horrible idea. This one is a water gun, so it's going to shoot water, not darts, and then the other one right here is also a water gun, but it is a Pump SG. This one actually looks decently cool. It's again brighter colors than the one in the game and very cartoony But I think like the design overall is pretty cool. It looks like a shotgun, but it obviously shoots water instead I believe the first one here has a tank as you can see up on the top There is a hatch to fill the tank and then you can just pump it up and fire with the pump handle Which is the white thing on the bottom the second one has a tank as well But it looks a whole lot smaller and so you're not gonna be able to fire as much though This thing might fire less per pump first one right here is gonna be really retailing for 15 United States dollars and the second one's going to be retailing for 25 and these are both going to be releasing in the summer of 2020 and next up is the Nerf rival Saturn XX 1000 so this one right here is a little interesting we don't have a photo for this but this was seen on the Walmart website by Nerf Taiwan and they're actually posted this photo so I'm using their photo because uh, it's not on the Walmart website anymore this is going to be retailing for 40 United States dollars almost because Walmart's really funky about their prices it's not doing 99 and stuff but doing 88 and 66 and 77 and it's just strange compared to all the other stores but whatever anyways this nerf rival saturn xx 1000 we can get a little bit from the name but we don't have a photo so i can't do a ton the xx means it's going to be coming out this year 2020 and then the 1000 means that it is going to be holding 10 rounds in a magazine or something i don't know what this is but given the name saturn i think it's probably going to be another edge blaster as so far in the edge series we've had mercury and jupiter and this is another 
another planet. I don't have any more ideas on this. That's all I know right now. But I think it's going to be a larger blaster given that it's going to be 40 United States dollars. The Jupiter was 50, but that was a long blaster. And the Mercury was 25, I believe. But we'll see what this comes out to. I'm really excited for it because Rival is amazing. And next up, we have a new version of the Esper. This is a hammer action Esper from Captain Slug in the Nerf Caliburn group. So the files for this are on Thingiverse, and there'll be a link to that under the post for this. But this is an alternate design for the Esper. So the Esper is Captain Slug's thing from like a year and a half ago, I believe it is, that is band powered and honestly pretty cool. This one right here is going to be hammer action, band powered again, but still hammer action, which is amazing because I personally love hammer action. Gonna have a rail up at the top where you can attach stuff, it looks like, and then looks like a pretty small grip, but it's probably gonna be comfortable as this is more of a pistol type thing. Captain Slug says that this can be set up for 60, 75, or 95 FPS, just like the Esper. So sadly, that is gonna be the end of this episode of Nerf News. I know this one was a lot longer than some of the previous ones, and this is about the length that I'd like to keep it at. There just hasn't been enough news lately, but that is gonna be the end of this. If you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe for weekly Nerf News, mods, reviews, and more. I'm the Nerf Modding Nerd, and I'll see you next time.